I am the Derpy Well, and this is your daily dose of Minecraft. I'm back from holiday now, so I'll be making new videos every Saturday. But anyways, for our first clip. Player Sly Mass was just exploring his world when he found a geode within a geode. Juka has added in the Dumbo Octopus into the game, and it can actually save you from drowning. It's just so cute as well. But he didn't stop there, he's also added in this cute little ghost that can actually do a couple things. For example, it's taken off cursor binding of the chest plate. And by default will give you the totem of her dying, you don't need to equip it. This next one is insane. A player by the name of Gobblecrowd GD has made a working duck hunt in Minecraft. A player by the name of Melman has created an almost perfect sphere and I love these, they're just so satisfying to watch. Let's play a game. This player gets pushed into the lava by a ghast, but does he survive, yes or no? Let me know in the comments, and no cheating, because I'll know. Oh, and uh, if you're this far into the video and you haven't left a like, comment, and subscribe with notifications on, this might end up being you. Yep, he actually survived. So if you guessed that correctly, let me know. And if you didn't, just edit your comment. It's whatever. Ben a block that he's made for his modded survival series that he is currently playing on. He placed down a block and it will fill that entire ocean. And apparently there is no distance limiter, so it will just keep going on infinitely. So I wonder what would happen if you go to the max height and then place this block. Your world's gonna get corrupt for sure. Here's another command creation I'm featuring purely because it kind of looks satisfying. Gal Sergei, the player who made it, apparently made it out of complete boredom. And I wish when I was bored I would make things like this. Instead I just blow up villages. And what's cool about this player is that he actually provided the complete command list he used to make this possible. Possible, which could be found in his original post. There's a skeleton. Oh my god, we're dude, what oh this is god. awful. No, I'm going back inside. Oh, go in, go in, go in, run, 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 run. Oh my god! <laughs> the baby! The baby! The baby! Oh wait! No! No no! Let me in! No! No! Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> a player by the name of Amazing Ad made a chicken with zero ticks, and this is what happened. It spawns about 15 eggs a second, and if left unchecked, will definitely just crash your world with all those items on the ground. It's kind of, it's kind of funny to see a chicken just output that many eggs. AI has taken the world by storm recently, and it's found its way into Minecraft, because a player by the name of World Designer has made something that lets ChatGTP4 play Minecraft. It can do things like hunt, fish, and even mine, and it can actually build bases that can, can be considered kind of safe. And the thing that impresses me the most is the fact it can actually take on an Enderman and win. It's still very early days, but the player who has made this has made it public, so you can actually try this out for yourself. And I could just imagine an army of bots in a year's time trying to beat the speed record. A player by the name of Wati54 is having a little trouble with his world. There's two things going on here, he either has way too many mods loaded, or he's on bedrock edition. I'm trying to figure it out, but it does look like it's just too many mods. This player went through all the effort to build a staircase, but he doesn't even use it anymore. A player by the name of Sagatorius3000 is just giving us a friendly reminder that sleeping foxes exist and they're extremely adorable. Old player 17 has created a data pack that allows you to make a teleportation book. You can set two waypoints and then teleport between them. And the cool thing is that it's actually a craftable item, so it doesn't feel too cheap. J Astro has created what I believe to be one of the coolest hidden entrances to a base ever. But it doesn't stop there, there's actually more.
Like, that is actually just insane. Well done, Jay. You've made a pretty awesome base. This next redstone contraption is very impressive. A player by the name of Kali Day One has made a bridge builder with alternating wall designs. It's not just building a basic bridge, it actually has a pattern design. We feature a lot of unlucky players in this series, so I want to change it up a bit. This player have got probably one of the best never spawns you'll ever get. A player by the name of Warner X James was just playing chicken with the Enderman friend, and then he got rudely interrupted. Steve Locke spent 4 weeks and used 33,734 commands and 376 custom models and the result is this really cool map. I'll have his YouTube link down below so you get more information and try it out for yourself. Sagano has been playing off and on on this Minecraft world for about 7 years and is showing off his quarry. LCY2K07 has completed the canyon in less than a minute, which is their personal record. A player by the name of Deport Tucker Bell, who is someone that we've featured quite a lot in the history of the show because he makes a lot of cool creations. This time he's made a library that lets you edit the player motion and allows you to do things that you couldn't usually do in Minecraft. Again, if you want to try it out for yourself, he has provided the link in his post. I want this creeper door in my life. PSYCraft EU has made a custom UFO boss fight concept using a lot of clever commands and particle manipulation. Subscribe with notifications on to never miss a video and thank you for watching.